Would you like to reduce your net fleet fuel spend by 10 to 23%? Could you use that money in other areas in your company while reducing your carbon footprint at the same time? Click the link below and learn more. The verdict is in and nobody knows what the hell they're talking about. Arc Best continues to bleed money, $3.9 million operating loss. In the asset light truck brokerage and Molo Solutions vertical, five quarters in a row. They also reported a revenue decline of 8.1% year over year. This was due to weak demand and lower shipment sizes, quote. Perhaps they meant less demand and smaller shipment sizes. Smaller shipment sizes could mean that the larger spot market volume contracts are moving into the truckload range, indicating an uptick in the freight market. But the headlines would indicate something different, as they keep telling us to expect weaker pricing in the fourth quarter, which is usually strong until Christmas, then it dies in January. So is January going to be a drop from this weak fourth quarter, or is there a different winter coming our way? This headline tells the story, Wisconsin's J. Bauer Trucking closes, 64 workers affected. Then there's this from Transport Topics, truckload turnaround pre-buy to boost 2025 sales, OEM says. That would indicate a strong trucking market, right? Or perhaps the headline is off since PACCAR sold 25,000 trucks in North America compared to 27.5 thousand last year, a 5.8% decline that would have been worse if not for the vocational market, which saved them. From PACCAR CEO Preston Freight to Martin Lunston of Volvo Trucks North America, sales in 2025 will be backloaded at best. And this is primarily due to fleet purchasing new equipment prior to 2027 emissions regulations. Want to reduce your costs 23.6%? and reduce your emissions, creating a value add for your clients, click the link.